Hello guys, welcome to yet another interesting video on this channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to generate passive income for yourselves. And the good thing about this method is that you only need to do it once and then the money continues to roll in month after month. With that said, if you do get value out of this video at the end of the video, be sure to leave this video a like because it allows more people to be able to reach the channel. I'm going to walk you through about four steps, very easy steps, simple to follow, simple to replicate. Okay, all you need to do is follow the four steps all the way to the end. You have everything you need to go ahead and implement this. So the first thing you want to do is to head over to Clickbank. Now, if you're not aware of what Clickbank is, Clickbank is just an affiliate marketplace where affiliates like you and I come and get products from vendors to promote and get a commission from every product that is sold to our affiliate link. Now, the first thing you want to do on Clickbank is to get a product. For this particular method, it will be recommended that you get a product with a high gravity and I'm going to explain that in time. But the first thing you want to do is to pick a niche that you are very conversant with or a, a niche that you have a uh, passion or interest in. It could be any of these niches. It could be game, fiction, employment, education, e-business. It could be anything. Um, let's just go for, let's say, self-help. We have picked the self-help niche and I think I like this one, the secret obsession. This is a, a product that's going to help girls figure out how to make their boyfriends fall in love with them or a guy they like to fall in love with them. So we're not going to be promoting this um, product directly we're going to promoting it through evergreen content now we can go ahead and create content on this on a blog but content on youtube actually ranks faster than on blogs you can post the content on youtube and have it rank within a week but for blogs trust me it can take like three four five six months it can take that long so that is what we're going for youtube instead of blog content you can also try blog content if you want or youtube in my opinion works much better and faster so you go over here and click promote um it's going to ask you for an account nickname you put it in you generate your hop link the hop link is going to be very long this is not what you want to put in your video description so just go ahead and copy it and then you go to a website called bit.ly if you just head over to bit.ly you'll be able to shorten your link there are many url shorteners you don't need to use bit.ly uh, if you don't want to you come here that says create and then link you can paste your long ugly looking url here and b.ly is going to shorten this url into um, something that is a little bit more presentable so this is our shorting link anytime somebody clicks this link and then makes a purchase on this website maybe they want to find a way to make their boyfriends fall in love with them we will make an average commission of 56 dollars okay that is a substantial amount of money now the next thing you want to do is to create a youtube account obviously i won't be able to go over that in this video that would just be unnecessary so you just go ahead and create a youtube account and then you have your youtube channel up and running the next thing i would recommend that you do is to get um vidiq now vidiq is a youtube seo tool okay there are two very popular ones there's vidiq and there's tubebuddy i have personally used both i've used both vidiq i've used tubebuddy and I will tell you that vidIQ is better than TubeBuddy. I'm going to leave a link to vidIQ in the description box below in case you decide to get vidIQ. So when you get over to vidIQ, you just come over here that says keywords and then you type in the keyword that you're trying to target. Of course, the product we're trying to promote is Secret Obsession. So how to make your boyfriend fall in love with you something of that nature. So you type how to make your boyfriend fall in love or better put if somebody's your boyfriend then you already have them so you say how to make a man fall in love with you let's put it direct how to make a man fall in love with you so if you are using the free version of vidiq you only see three results that's all you see but if you use the paid version you see a lot of results and if you want to find something that's suitable for a brand new channel you definitely want to use the paid version of vidiq and you can always export this to a csv file but that is completely unnecessary so you want to go through um all these things you see here this column shows you the search volume but this is not our interest our real interest is in this column that says competition this is where our real interest is this one that says hi there's no point creating a video on this because your video just would not rank so this one say hi medium hi medium they're not really what we're looking for we're looking for something that has a competition of, of low Okay, the competition that is low or an overall score of above 50. Make him love you. This this could be something we could go for, but 
let's just make sure that we didn't find anything better so i'm scrolling i'm going down let's see ha very low mindful attraction now you see what's happening here this one here mindful attraction very low actually low 27 mindful attraction and then this is also another one that is very low mindful attraction so mindful attraction is a keyword that has very low competition meaning that if you decide to create a video with this keyword in the title then you will definitely show up in search results and people are going to find your video so what i just did was to click that mindful attraction and then it's going to bring out other keywords related to mindful attraction now here's another one that is very low that came out from clicking mindful attraction make him yours low 58 this is good enough for me i clicked it again and it's going to bring out another set of search results that's how you can continue to refine your search results but i think i can go with the make him yours and i can name my video how to make him yours or how to make him yours forever in fact i can make like three four five six seven eight ten videos that have make him yours in the title of the video remember making yours should be in your title should be in your description it should also be in your tags now you may be asking how do i create the video for this my youtube channel now that is by no means a problem because whatever information that you're looking for already exists if you just go to google and search making yours you already see um content on how to make him yours let's say how to make him yours instead how to how to, so, how to make him yours so be confident confidence is sexy be the best version of yourself talk be playful use a sense of humor be a little mysterious show interest in him so i'm seeing eight tips and they can there are more items okay so let's say you make 10 variations of those videos and in each video discuss only three tips only three tips in the first video you can pick how to make him your tip number one be confident then you explain a little bit on this be confident of course you can find everything on the website if you just click onto this website you can read whatever they already have and then put your own spin to it and not say go and copy somebody's content word for word just read what they've said you may agree or disagree with what these people have put on their website and that is fantastic because what we want on your own content is your own spin your own ideas so you take a leaf from what these guys have done and then do something that is in line with what you feel on the inside that's all so after you've gotten your scripts obviously your scripts are already pre-made for you they are all over google nobody's going to come after you in the name of copyright because you added a spin to it okay if you added a spin to the content you won't fall into the trap of copyright laws but if you do not add a spin to it the least you can do is to say hey this content came from so and so website check them out the link to their website will be in the description box below that's the least you can do to protect yourself okay so that said we have our script now so the first thing we did was to go over to clickbank we got our product we decided on the niche then we went to vidiq to do our keyword research we finally got a keyword that has low competition okay and the search volume is 1300 every month okay so out of this 1300 you can just get let's just say 500 people to view your videos per month 500 people 500 potential buyers you just need 10 to buy a month for you to make 500 dollars a month from the 10 videos you made and that is for me that is enough that is enough for 10 videos for only 10 videos 500 dollars a month is sufficient and remember your videos will continue to rank for a long time until obviously somebody topples you and that's why this is a continuous process so after you have decided on the keyword that you want to um rank for or the keywords that you want to create a video on the next thing is to go and get your content which is what we did we went to google and we typed in how to make him yours and we found a very good blog content which we get our script from which is what we did now the next thing is to convert your script to video and this is the part of this video where there are lots of ways to go about this now the first thing you can do is to record the voiceover yourself use your own voice there's this software i use to edit my voiceovers it's called audacity it is 100 percent free and it is safe it's not going to put any virus in your system or anything of that nature i've been using audacity for almost two years now and i've never had an issue with audacity if you just go over to youtube and search audacity tutorial you see lots of videos that will teach you how to use audacity audacity is simple to use for editing your audios so after you have voiced your article and you have created the audio the next thing will now be to create the video 
and again there are a lot of ways to go about this i personally use shortcut to create my videos so this is what shortcut looks like again if you go to youtube you'll be able to find tutorials on how to use shortcut this was a recent video that i created i'm reviewing a product on keto smart so this is shortcut and the places where you can get free footages to create your videos that's if you want to use free images the three websites i'll ask you to use are pexels.com pexels.com and pixabay.com these are two websites i have used for the past two years again these are websites where i get free images and videos to put in my timeline and create my videos again if you just go through a shortcut tutorial you understand all these things much better once you have your audio recorded and you have it edited the rest of the process is just very easy come over here you pick the image or video that you want that fits into what the person is saying in the audio or what you're saying in the audio and then you just place it in and boom that's just it so over here you can find both photos and videos same with um, pixabay you can also have photos and videos but if you want something a little bit automatic then you would want to use vietnami i've also used vietnami for a while now up to two years as well i used vietnami when i didn't know how to create videos using shortcuts the only downside to vietnami is that the free version is not so great they will have watermark all over your videos and then even the paid version doesn't have a lot of flexibility with shortcuts you have the freedom to do every and anything you want to do but in vietnami it's pretty much straight jacketed but if you don't want to learn anything about video editing then i would highly recommend you give vietnami a try these are some of the videos that i have created with vietnami so with that said these are the options that are open to you you can use shortcut if you want there's also another video editing software called open shot i heard that one is much easier to learn than shortcut try open shot i think is also a good choice you can use open shot you can use shortcut that's shortcut s h o t c u t you can use um vietnami okay you can use any of them just go ahead and create a very simple video using stock footages if you go over to youtube and search how to make a guy love fall in love with you how to make a guy fall in love with you mm, let me see there's a kind of video that i'm looking for videos that were created with stock footages i really cannot find them here but i know a channel that uses the kind of strategy i'm looking for if you just search for um success secrets tv success secrets tv this is a channel in the motivation uh, niche and all his videos use just putting stock footages together behind a voiceover that is just a strategy. Google digital. they just use stock footages behind a voiceover and this channel has 1.24 million subscribers so this is a way to make money on youtube without even showing your face okay the, i have muted it so that what they are saying does not go over what i'm saying but you can see that these are just short video clips that are placed behind a voiceover and as the voice is talking the image the images or the videos will make sense okay so these are short short clips that are added that is all the owner of this video is as a matter of fact a black guy a nigerian owns this channel and if you didn't know that you have no clue because the channel is neat and that's because stock footages actually look professional that's the truth so this is why i would recommend stock footages if you don't want to use stock footages you can go ahead set up your camera gear and create the video recording yourself just say if you want to make your guy love you or something of that nature do like these guys these guys are showing their face in their videos and see this video has 4.3 million views this is a lot of eyeballs and trust me if this guy has an affiliate link in this video the ad sense is getting from this video will be nothing compared to the affiliate commission he could be making from this video if he put an affiliate link inside it this is why i would recommend affiliate marketing for anyone who's looking to make money online so let's say you have finished creating your video you've published your video the next thing to do is to upload your video and you want to make sure that your video is optimized now i'm going to use this video as a case study of how to optimize your video this is one of the videos i uploaded well over a year ago and only recently did it begin taking off i really have no idea why but one of the ways to optimize your video is the thumbnail thumbnail is very important this video is called the five tips on how to make money from the renewable energy industry 
Perhaps this thumbnail is beginning to do well for the video, I have no idea, but the video just recently began taking off. So based on the thumbnail, what you need to do is to search the title of your video on YouTube. Let's say the title of your video is how to make him fall in love with you. So if you search how to make him fall in love with you, look at it there. Now look at what the first three, four, five people have done. There is something about their thumbnail that is making them get all these clicks. Okay, look at this video, 2.2 million views. 1.9 million views, 1.4 million views. So you have to take out your time and look at all these thumbnails and see the one that will make people most likely to click. And then make your own thumbnail very similar to your winning thumbnail. I cannot tell you what your winning thumbnail will be, but just make it a little bit similar. So with thumbnail covered, let's move over to the next thing, your description. The first line in your description should be your title. I repeat, the first line in your description should be your title. Repeat your title in your description, first line, and then go ahead to write a description. Now in your description also, you should have renewable energy industry, make money or money, how to, within the description. You should have it naturally occur in your description. You want to structure very organized sentences. Look at this sentence here, it says, the global renewable energy market was valued at 928 billion in 2017 and is expected to reach 1.5 trillion by 2025. Now this sentence has renewable energy inside of it. So when um, the algorithm is going through this, you can say, oh, this is one place that is renewable energy. You need to find another place where there is renewable energy. I need to find other keywords that are related to renewable energy and be like, ah, this video is trying to tell somebody how to make money using renewable energy or from the renewable energy industry. And then the algorithm will now place this video where it feels is relevant. It's going to place this video in a place where people that are looking to make money from the renewable energy industry will find it. That is where the algorithm works. So you want to make sure that your keywords in your title appear in your description very naturally all over. As you can see, this is renewable again. This is renewable. This is another renewable. It has been a very long time since I created this video, so I won't be able to tell you where all my keywords are, but I assure you all the keywords are scattered all over um, this article. This is renewable energy here. Um, I think I saw that one. This is renewable sources of energy here. Okay, so that is just the trick with titles and descriptions. Now, after you have settled your thumbnail, your title, your description, the next thing to worry about is your tags. So if you go down to your tags, um, to be honest, it seems like tags don't really have a lot of relevance anymore. However, I would recommend that you exhaust all the tags that are available to you. Now, if you acquire the paid version of vidIQ, which is the um, keyword research tool that we use to find our keywords, vidIQ will also be integrated into your back office. So it will be able to suggest relevant tags for every video of yours. Now, your first tag should be your entire video title okay your first tag should be how to make a man fall in love with you whatever your title is the complete title if your title has fragments like how to make your guy fall in love with you the new way if it has fragments it should be the entire title that's the first one like mine how to make money from the renewable energy industry that's my first tag then your second tag should be fragments of your main title that also make sense so my second tag could be how to make money and uh, the next one could be renewable energy industry. Those would be your first three tags. Once you have those, then you can now add or remove, but keep your target keyword in most of your tags. Okay, keep renewable energy in most of your tags. Keep your primary keyword in most of your tags. My primary keyword was renewable energy. So you can see here, renewable energy, renewable energy, renewable energy, career in renewable energy, best renewable energy sources, countries and renewable energy, solar energy, business ideas. So my tags have also provided an extra information to the YouTube algorithm on what my video is about. And like I said, vidIQ is going to suggest other keywords to you. So like, so if you look here, vidIQ is suggesting solar energy to me. So if I click this plus button, it's going to add solar energy to my list of tags. And look at another one is recommended for me. I'm going to give all of them a score, solar power. So I can add this as well. Then I can just go ahead and save these changes. For you, it will be to publish the video and then you go ahead and publish the video. Now, after you have published the video, 
The last thing you want to do is to make sure that you share this video. Yes, share this particular video. <laughs> yes, share this particular video, but also share your own video. The reason it's important for you to share your own video is that you want to build something called backlinks for your video. Backlinks mean that people are finding your video from outside YouTube. For instance, if you send me your video as a private message in my WhatsApp and I click onto the video through WhatsApp, YouTube is going to say, hmm, people are finding this video from outside YouTube. Perhaps the video is very valuable and it's going to help um, the ranking of your video. So even though your video is SEO optimized, it is also going to help your ranking if you have built backlinks, if you can share it to people outside of YouTube, let them find the video from outside of YouTube. I hope you got some value from this video. If you did, please leave me a like, subscribe to the channel so you do not miss any interesting content like this one. Drop a comment on the parts of the video that you understand or you didn't understand. I would love to reply to your comments and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.